We had an opportunity to do some restoration of some oak woodland habitat and oak savanna habitat brought to us by a couple of community members who came to us with a proposal. They actually wrote the grant for us. All we had to do was review it, make some suggestions to make it a productive restoration project. We have some Douglas fir that have been growing on the property for close to 70 years, topping out the oaks. We thought it was a great opportunity, but we needed partners. So we started looking around. We talked to Oregon State University since ecosystems don't fall on property boundaries. The project area was approximately 80 acres of oak woodland and various other woodland habitats. Before we did the restoration, we hired a consultant to come in and do an assessment of the area so we could find out what we had on site. We have a mix of open prairie, oak woodlands, mixed hardwood forest. Some areas are dominated by Douglas fir. Those we remained as a Douglas fir habitat and we just came up with different prescriptions for how we would do the restoration work. Funding for the project, since a big part of oak release and oak habitat restoration is removing Douglas fir, we were able to fund part of the project through timber sales. We took the asset of the standing firs and converted that into the asset of an oak savanna. We now have uh, a park with habitat type that there's less than 1% of in the, in the Willamette Valley at this point. We had somebody from the local Audubon chapter came out and volunteered to do an initial study just to sort of see what bird species were out here so that we would have a better idea of, of how to time the harvest. They pointed out that if we were to start harvesting in end of June, which was our original plan, that we'd basically be at the height of both ground nesting and tree nesting season and would be almost guaranteed to have major impacts to wildlife. We decided to push off the harvest into late July, even early August. One of the things that we did was not to remove all firs. A number of them were left as snags so that they could be habitat for large predatory birds and various other wildlife that would use a standing dead tree. We're seeing more wildlife uh, in terms of acorn woodpecker and some of the hawks that we've seen up here. We're, we're seeing more of them than we've seen in the past and some of that could be because we opened it up but I like to think that a fair amount is because we're creating better habitat for those species. But it really got exciting when we had boots on the ground. This was a solid thicket of big leaf maple, Douglas fir. You can see the oaks now have room to grow and expand the way they originally did. It was amazing. I mean, the park has a different feel.